Good afternoon, I'm Raylene Ramsey. This is your afternoon news fix for Friday, the 15th of November. For the first time in New Zealand history, two lawyers have been granted name suppression. The Court of Appeals today allowed name suppression for the pair who represented the Christchurch mosque shooter last year in an appeal of his conviction and sentence. That expressed safety concerns over being connected to him. Wellington barrister Graham Edgeless says it will set a precedent, but likely stay exceedingly rare. It is now clear that the law which allows courts to give name suppression to victims or witnesses and occasionally to defendants can now also, in the right circumstances, give name suppression to lawyers if needed. The Hikoi is continuing through Rotorua to Hastings as it passes the halfway point. About 10,000 people have joined the march today, protesting the Treaty Principles Bill. Acts, controversial legislation, passed its first reading with support from National and New Zealand First. Rotorua Daily Post senior reporter Kelly Makiha is at the Hikoi and spoke to, to the Rotorua lead, Fallon Flavel, who was proud of how many people turned out. She said the work doesn't stop there, it's got to continue and she was telling the crowd, you know, now is the time to put into action getting on the Māori roll and working to make change. Donald Trump's lauding his decision to nominate vaccine sceptic Robert F. Kennedy Jr. for a leading health role in his administration. The president-elect today selected Kennedy as the Secretary of the Department of Health and Human Services. It's a controversial pick, with Kennedy known for his health-related conspiracy theories. Today, Trump's outlined his expectations for Kennedy at the Mar-a-Lago Club in Florida. We want you to come up with things and ideas and what you've been talking about for a long time. Trump's also boasted about his presidential win, saying his term should have started on Election Day. Concern interest in local government will dwindle further, with 14 community papers on the chopping block. NZME, which runs News Talk ZB, is proposing the closure of the North Island papers with at least 30 jobs on the line. Local Government New Zealand suggests the government should expand the local democracy reporting programme nationwide. President Sam Broughton says local media is a much-needed voice for ratepayers and councils. Thinking about elections next year and people's concern about councils and the way that councils perform and who they're going to elect to be a part of that, I think having local stories available to communities is important. Wet weather's dampening ticket sales for the final day of Christchurch's Cup Week at Rickerton Park Racecourse tomorrow. Around 15,000 people attended Cup Day at Addington Raceway on Tuesday. Rickerton Park Racecourse Chief Executive Tim Mills says in previous years that already be sold out. We've decided to open a ticket booth tomorrow on Saturday so that anyone that wakes up on Saturday morning and goes, gee, that weather forecast is nowhere near as bad as they said it was, they can still rock out to Rickerton. In sport, retiring pace bowler Tim Southey says it was a childhood dream to represent New Zealand. But now's the right time to bow out of Test cricket, following the upcoming home series against England in December. The All Blacks will wear their alternate white jerseys against France on Sunday morning for the first time in three years. The Silver Ferns are starting at an empty January Test window Staring, I should say, at an empty January test window with a six-month gap in their calendar with no Nations Cup and a shortened ANZ Premiership. I'm Raylene Ramsey. That is your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update tomorrow morning from the News Talk ZB Newsroom.